What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time watching my content, my name is Noah Cavanaugh and I'm a professional soccer player currently in Perth, Australia. I wanted to check in with you guys really quickly about the Zoom call. Just hit 2,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that. Really appreciate it and we are on our way to 3,000, the next milestone. So for the 2,000 subscribers Zoom Q&A, we're gonna be doing more Q&As as sort of I get home. And if you guys saw a couple of videos ago, I've got a season ending injury, so I'll have to go get surgery back in the United States. While I'm doing that and not producing as much of my own soccer content, what I'll be doing is filming other players training and then I'll be also doing interviews with professional players that'll come up in the next few months. So lots of that and then lots of Zoom Q and A's for you guys to get all your questions answered about what the process is like, what college soccer is like or anything else you guys wanna know. So just wanna to touch base really quick about calendars. So I've got my calendar in front of me right now. So the, uh, the call will be on the 21st Australia time, the 20th of, Mar this is of March, um, the US slash, uh, I guess, GMT time. So it'll be at 6 a.m. Sunday, March 21st, Perth time. It'll be 2 p.m. Saturday, March 20th, Pacific Standard Time. That's the West Coast of the United States. 5 p.m. East Coast time on the tw March 20th, Saturday and then 10 p.m. Saturday, March 20th, GMT, which is uh, London, I believe. So you can kind of base your times off that. All of the information will be in the link below. Um, but today we're actually gonna get into another match analysis. I've had the opportunity to film or get the film from several of our games that you guys have seen. Hopefully this information is helpful for you. Um, this is my current team that, I'll be, that I'm playing with. Um, obviously I'm on the sideline with uh, my injury, but moving into this one, it was a very, very good game as you'll see. Lots of goals, sort of an unfortunate finish. We were ahead three to one and they scored three in the last 10 minutes of the game. So kind of an unfortunate bunch of errors, I guess, on our end, um, but I'll break those down in this video. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into it. All right, fam, so here we are into the voiceover we are in our green and yellow kit, very typical of Rockingham City, and Guelup, Croatia is in the red with the sort of bluish socks and the white shorts. So we'll hop right into it. I'll just show you the first little piece of play from the kickoff. The first 20 minutes of this game were pretty dominant from Guelup. They kept the ball for the most part, and it took us a little while to get into our footing. Guelop had several chances on goal, um, but we did a really good job of keeping everything out of the back of the net and were able to score first about 20 minutes into the game. So as you see right away, we're almost scored on. And this is something that hopefully we can improve later in the game. So first little passage of play, um, just want to show you a couple counters. Great ball by the center midfielder, who I believe was an A-League player for quite a while. Um, this is just an example of a lot of the stuff that was happening in the first half. So they're very, very patient keeping the ball. Um, we got a chance to do this later in the first half and into the second half, but this was sort of the way that a lot of the play happened in the first 20 minutes. As you can see, our mid were pretty mid-blocky, um, except when they press us into that first half. So I'll let this play out, and then I'll be back with you guys for the next play. All right, so one of the biggest things that I always like to sort of preach in coaching sessions is decision-making. So as you watch Guelup play, um, and this is, again, credit to them for doing a good job of making good decisions for the most part, great block by our center back there. But again, once we win the ball, a lot of our decisions are just not super sharp. Um, that could be because of off ball movement. I know that there are several players on the pitch now who definitely could be making more of an effort to get into that uh, rhythm of play. But as you see, the ball just comes out to our left back. And it's just, you know, poor touches and sort of bad, poor decision making. And that all comes down to composure and being switched on when you get into the game. I think it's really helpful having obviously vocal leaders on the field and leaders who will just take it 
sort of as their own responsibility to make sure that those decisions of every player are making they're making good decisions and they're making decisions that are going to help the team not trying to play the 300 million dollar ball but instead just playing the ball that's going to be best for that moment um and you see as we win the ball try to get out of that situation and we just end up playing it backwards and playing another long ball after a minute and again putting our goalkeeper under pressure like these are things that I say in a positive manner, just because I think it's things that are super easy to switch on. Everybody can sort of get that into the back of their head, but it's just something to keep in mind, especially when a game starts, you really want to make sure your decision-making is on point. It doesn't have to be absolutely incredible ball play, but it's just about making the right decisions. All right, so this is another good piece of play down the left flank from the Guelph side, and I want to shout out our center back, Harry Bolin, um, one of the captains on the team for this very, very good piece of defending. He had two here, uh, two defensive clearances that were fantastic right here. The first one that gets pumped back out, and then the second one to get ahead of that center forward. So props to him. He did a fantastic job this game, making sure that that center forward did really nothing all game. As I mentioned before, again, this is decision making. So our first shot of the game comes from our center forward, just getting the ball, being really patient, um, obviously poor clearance by that center back, but making sure that we're all in position. We've got five or six guys up on the field. Um, here's another example of just good decision making, making sure to get the ball, rotate the ball and get a little bit of possession play as we switch the momentum of this game from them possessing the ball and now to us possessing the ball we did a great job defending and now it's just about keeping the ball making sure that we have solid decision making um, through the rest of the game the next piece that came together about 20 minutes in as you can see is our high press so we just went all out in that press makes the goalkeeper give it right to our center midfielder and then again having composure taking players out of the play, breaking lines, and we get another shot on goal. So fantastic job by the boys to get into that rhythm. All right, so again, here's another decision that probably isn't so great. Our right back just has to get the ball and play forward. There's a 2v3 or a 3v2 there. Guelph gets the ball away and is able to break. Um, and shout out to our goalkeeper, Brad Stout, or Stouty, who makes a great save here as the ball comes across, um, just gets it parries it away out for a corner kick. So next play, this is our first goal. So it comes all the way from the goalkeeper. Um, pretty tough ball there, but our center mid does such a good job to get that ball into our winger. And then great ball from Ian again into our center forward who finishes just a fantastic shot. So again, such a good piece of play, shows the versatility of the entire team. Again, decision-making, you have composure, and you have that final ball, and of course the run by our center forward to finish it off. All right, so comes from a free kick, and this is another opportunity that came right after uh, our first goal, and ball from Stouty comes out to Jethro, who takes a fantastic touch right here outside of a flying center midfielder and he's surrounded by four players here just does a little Ronaldinho switch back and gets a shot on goal so close I just want to shout out him because that was such a fantastic opportunity this is our second goal so ball comes from a throw in and again bounces around a little bit but it's all about getting that ball on the ground fixing it as our coach likes to say and just making sure that we get those decisions um, made so luke who i've shouted out several times is on the ball right now he does a great job to be patient wait for everybody and then a fantastic run by our center midfielder to get in position and get a beautiful shot into the bottom right hand corner so just a fantastic piece of play again it's all about finding the space fixing it and finishing so this is their first goal. So again, for me, this comes down to decision making and just making the pass that's going to be best for the team, not necessarily just for you. It's all about making your teammates look better, in my opinion. So Gwillop keeps the ball for a little bit here. Um, we get on a break and Jethro gets the break. And I think 
it's not necessarily his fault, but I think this ball could be played into the corner for Boyley. Unfortunately, he loses it, and their player plays a uh, – there's a foul that's called, and then this ball gets played over to the right-hand side of the field where they have a pretty f- uh, quick winger. And that quick winger just gets a little bit of space, hits it in, and – it gets finished by one of the center forwards. So there goes that winger right there on the right-hand side, pulls it back. And again, I think body position of the center backs is great here, actually. I just think this is unlucky from uh, our center back who slips, as you saw. So that is Guillaume's first goal, and that is the sort of the final score of the half. It was 2-1 at halftime. We'll get into the second half in just a little while. All right, another great passage of play from... The Rockingham City team, um, this is something that I thought was super creative and great from our front three. So kind of bounces around a little bit. Center back does a great job to win that ball, bring it out to Luke. And then we keep possession of the ball a little bit, get it through lines. Again, all about breaking lines. Midfielder does a great job there. Little back heel. Jethro is able to take the ball and get a shot on goal. So again, this is all about being creative in that final third, which is such an important piece of successful play. All right, fam, now we're into the second half of play. I'm going to show you this first clip just to give you guys a good idea of the possession and sort of the decision-making stuff that's been happening in this first half to start it off. Both teams obviously went into the locker room. It's a pretty, It was a pretty close game, 2-1 at halftime. So it's all about decisions and how you finish a game with this final, uh, this final half. All right, so this clip is all about reaction and about possession. So we win the ball. Again, great job winning possession with that press. Faisal Zaw does such a fantastic job here beating a couple players. He's really, really lanky. He's kind of snaky in the way that he dribbles, so he's really tough to defend. Um, Boyley does a great job to get that ball in, and we just recycle the ball. Again, it's all about possession, making sure that we can break lines and get into space. Now, this ball is a great ball into Boyley. Boyley takes sort of an unfortunate touch here, but the reaction time of our front five or six is really fantastic. We get straight into position, and then we're able to roll up and press them to make them get out of bounds. Next play comes from the center backs. And again, we're looking at how our pressing and how our mid block is succeeding. Here, you can just see Guelop possessing the ball, getting it in and out. And then as soon as Boyley goes, and as soon as he starts running, our whole team presses up and forces them to make a mistake. You see Faisal on the guy's ass right away. And then it's all about getting our throw in there. All right, so sort of an unfortunate turn of events, sort of, I'd say, 60 minutes into the game. um, Great ball gets whipped in, and our goalkeeper comes out and unfortunately clashes with one of their players and gets in pretty injured. We put our second string goalkeeper in, who I think for the most part did such a fantastic job. But um, yeah, just an unfortunate turn of events for us in that half. Brad's such a good goalkeeper. So throw in comes from Guelop here. Again, winning the ball. Um, Axel does a great job there on the left back who came in for, on the second half. And then this is all about possession and all about getting opportunities moving forward. Um, Boyle does a great job just getting into the dead space into the dead side and then that becomes strong side and we're able to get a shot off a little bit far out but that's all right Um, and here we come into our third goal so again from Nestis uh, comes out from goalkeeper so he's the other goalkeeper that was on the roster he's a fantastic goalkeeper has one of the best uh, kicks I've ever seen both from the ground and in the air. Um, really talented kid, and he's only like 18 years old. So such a shout out to him as well. Um, great ball into, again, the center forward who gets the turn. Um, that's Christos on the ball right now. So he was the center forward who came in. And then Fives just comes out. Fantastic shot into the back of the net. So great work from all parties involved in that goal. And we are 3-1 up. 
I just want to highlight this play really quick. Throw in comes in from Papa, our right back, um, who came in in the second half, and then such great creativity and pressing from our center for forward, Boyley, who gets such a good shot on goal. Um, unfortunately, isn't on target, but that is all right. Just a fantastic piece of creative play. All right, so this is Guelop's second goal of the game. Again, all comes down to decision-making for me. Big clearance by that Guelop. Uh, keeper and then instead of kicking the ball out I think Nestis tried to hit it up to one of our wingers and unfortunately hit it right into the midfielder so again all about decision making for me it's sort of a fluke and one of those things um, here's their third goal it came pretty much straight afterwards and sort of bounced around didn't get out cleared out of the box and then that volley came straight into the back of the net so we're like minute 88 here so we are just coming down to the last minute of the game um, and this is a situation where I think it's really important to have people and guys step up on the pitch and just get really really vocal so that you can make sure that nothing gets in the back of that net so here we are. This is our last attack of the game for the most part. Um, ball comes out to Fies, who gets a good, uh, keeps it in, which is just fantastic. Um, great ball into Boily, and then we're off. Unfortunately, he hits this with the outside of his right foot. I think a left-footed shot here would be super effective, uh, especially into that far right-hand corner. Um, and I'm just going to let it play out because they score, and it's the last kick of the game. We're at like minute 93 now, and they just keep the ball a little bit, are patient, and are able to get that fourth goal, which is uh, unfortunate scoring three in the last several minutes of the game. Um, Again, pretty unfortunate clearance there just because that goes straight into their center mid. Um, and then again, everybody's got to be pressing. Everybody's got to be switched on. Um, but, you know, it is it is what it is. Football, football kind of happens. So here we go. Clearance out. And the referee actually had them play here. So, uh, again, finding space on the outside. And then I'll just let it play out from here. But this is a, a pretty unfortunate turn of events. But you know what? We learn from it and everybody gets switched on. And uh, we'll move on to the next game. So looking forward to the next one, guys. And I'll hop back into the studio where I give you guys sort of a final recap and we'll get after it. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Thanks so much for joining me today for this match analysis against Guelph Croatia. It's another great team in our league. Um, the National Premier League, especially in Perth, is really competitive, so it's been awesome to see the guys performing against such good teams, and obviously we've got a great team as well. So really excited for the whole season, really stoked to have them uh, be performing throughout this night series, and then that'll set us up for the rest of the season. Um, so that is it for the video, guys. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment down below what other videos you want to see, and make sure you check the description box because that is where all of the Zoom information will be, the timestamps, uh, the Zoom link, password, the meeting ID, et cetera, et cetera. So it'll be all laid out for you guys, super easy. Looking forward to having a bunch of you on that one in a few weeks time. So that is it guys, be awesome, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.